Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> the Ukraine Russia conflict that's going on is crazy, mate. War, who wants it? No one really wants war. However, it is worth knowing that a lot of hypocrisies are showing up how weapons companies how bankers and how certain countries have a lot vested in war and we're seeing the hypocrisy of freedom of speech all right freedom of speech <laughs> what a joke we saw the famous director Oliver Stone's documentary in Ukraine be taken off Google we saw Abby Martin who created I think it was like 500 uh, episodes they were removed on uh, the US escapades uh, in the Middle East and the likes and of course Russia Today the RT news that has been banned in Europe and now its channels are being banned on YouTube, Facebook and the likes. But what's interesting is anytime we talk about bans and how comes they're only acting now and they don't act when it comes to issues pertaining other human rights. Yeah why now mate? Well follow the money yes follow the money this is a bit of a dirty game that's being played at the moment let's look at Facebook first there's somebody called Mark Smith one of the directors at Facebook <laughs> but this guy was a NATO advisor to the deputy commander he's in bed with NATO mate which is again for those of you that still don't know NATO are countries that are under the influence of America to put it simply Next we move on to TikTok. As you guys know the White House invited a bunch of TikTokers round to uh, I guess hire them to spread their own propaganda. But what we're interested in is Greg Anderson. This guy currently is a manager at TikTok but he used to be psychological operations for NATO. You cannot make this stuff up. Then we move on to Chris Roberts another director at TikTok who used to be former senior director of technology policy at the Albright Stonebridge group and this firm was founded by a former US Secretary of State. Oh my good lord. Let's not forget Ben Render director at Google who also worked at NATO. Then we move on to the board of deputies group they have and I quote close working relationship with the Israeli embassy and links with the Ministry of Strategic Affairs and the IDF and they are the funders of Keir Starmer the current leader of the Labour Party and of course the Conservative Party that actually the full name is Board of Deputies of British Jews. So these guys again where are they getting their funding from? Are the British Board of Deputies lobbying government ministers on yes, this, that and the other? Yes! One of their funders is the Trevor Chin Charitable Trust we know that Trevor Chin is a key Israel lobbyist in this country and one of the major figures behind Israel lobby group BICOM. Trevor Chin also funds Keir Starmer. In addition to funding the Board of Deputies, he also funds the Jerusalem Foundation and the JNF. Both of these organizations build settlements. We found another organization by the name of the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation. It also funds the Board of Deputies. But who else does the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation fund? It also funds the Jerusalem Foundation, the Builder of Settlements, and the Conservative Foundation, which is the instrument through which the Conservative Party in this country is funded. Dang. In addition to that, the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation funded the Quilliam Foundation, the now defunct and ultimately discredited organization which pushed mythology about Muslims in this country. Like Rusi, Atlantic Council, Center for Security Policy which gave us the Muslim ban, the Lexington Institute Security and Defense Agenda which is now known as Friends of Europe, Reform, a neoliberal think tank, the Center for New American Security, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Middle East Institute, and as I mentioned, the Brookings Institution. 
Okay, now that we know that all of these groups are linked with each other, that's why they're backing each other. But let's move on to these politicians here. Yeah? Now here's a clip of Biden from back in the days admitting that if they mess with Ukraine, they are going to mess their relations with Russia. Having nothing to do with the merit and preparedness of the country to come in would be to admit the Baltic states now in terms of NATO-Russian, US-Russian relations in terms of a vigorous and hostile reaction, I don't mean military, in Russia, it would be that. And here you can see the US has been after Ukraine for quite some time. CIA documents that just recently have been declassified show strong ties between US intelligence and Ukrainian nationalists since 1946. But not to forget, you might be thinking, flipping, what was Putin doing? Did Putin ever renege on a personal no, agreement he made to you? He did not. So behind closed doors, he could be trusted. He kept his word in all the deals we made. In 2008, April, at the Bucharest summit, they pretty much said, we are going to take Ukraine into NATO. But I stand to be corrected if the sentence we agreed today that these countries in the text, Greek, Ukraine and Georgia, will become members of, of, of NATO, leaves, leaves a shimmer of a doubt. Not, not, not in my opinion. Mate, this was 2008. This is like 14 years ago. And then they got the nerve to say, If we go back to six months ago, I don't think anybody was predicting we would be exactly where we are as it relates to Russia and Ukraine. What? Now, if that's not all here, you can see US contractors wanting to create a private army. And this Eric Prince, the leader of Blackwater, is the same Eric Prince that was dealing in Iraq and Afghanistan. Here we can see the far right group in Ukraine using British weapons. And not to mention that the guy who funded the president of Ukraine, yeah, you guys should research him yourself, he's called Iho Kolomoisky. This guy is an Israeli and he's been funding the far right as well. In fact, it's within the national interest of Israel to fund the far right, obviously, because Ukraine is uh, nearby. And if that's not all, here is the US Congress that has voted to remove a ban for them funding the far-right neo-Nazis. Boy, so that was a crash course yeah, of information as to why this war is it's really messy. Remember, fear is what takes our defenses down and leaves us susceptible to control and manipulation. So we got to be extra cautious during these times. Let's leave it there guys. I didn't want to make this video too long. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum.